Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. It is time to de-kit my heaven and earth designs slash sort out my spares storage. So there is five weeks of, so five Thursdays until I start my December advent um, and therefore all my Thursdays will be taken up with a weapon waffle. So I'm going to try my best to get through about a box. Um, I'm thinking if I can get through one of my square, one of my boxes each time, that's sort of three weeks, then it gives me time to sort of go through my rounds. And I also have some ABs that I got from fan cells that need to be put away. But I have no idea how long that's going to take. So it may be that I just get my squares done um and I only get part way through this box so ideally I want to be at least two rows but we'll see how it goes um these are my extras extras giveaway extras um, which are looking a bit bashed at the moment um they're sort of not quite in order by the looks of things I do have sort of three rows that they can go in. These are my rounds, my spare rounds. So these will not particularly be messed with today. So let's actually pop those spare bags and things in there to help those stay propped up because I will need to move some of these over. Um, for my extras, I don't have like individual DMC cards. I just have them. I just have the hundreds. So if I scoot those back, these are my 100s so far. So they're my extras already. Um, and of course, I do want to whittle down what I have in here. And I also want to de-kit my Heaven and Earth design. I don't need my round stickers, but I will need my square ones. I don't need my Ever Moment stickers there for when I pass them on. And then I have loads, loads and loads of baggies. I haven't got a full plan for this. Um, I do want to also sort of check out my spares book and check I'm right with that. But what I'm thinking... No, let's go through sort of de-kitting, but also checking how my spares are doing as I go along. So we've got 151, which I've definitely got a couple of different shades in there, but that's an okay size bag. 152 is bursting. Too much. Bursting too much, I think. Do you know what? I'm not going to mess with the stickers. They've been on there for four years. I'm going to do the stickers in my own time. That's what I'm going to do. So 152, I have far too many and I have some in here. So I'm going to empty those in there straight away and I'm going to cream off some of these. And what I actually want to do is not only do I want to sort of get my bag down, but it's obviously a popular colour. I kind of like to have room in the bag to de-kit future ones. So I'm going to fill that bag to burst in because that's fine. They're my giveaway ones. And I've whittled this one down that when I lay it quite flat... I've still got a little bit of room to move. So that's working. 153 is okay. 154. Let me take, let me just move a couple of those just to give me room for a bit. 154 is also a bit too full. I already have two bags here. I'm probably going to need a third one. I was going to see if I could squeeze some more in, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. So I do write the labels for my giveaway diamonds when I can get my pen to work. 
I would use my DMC stickers if it wasn't for the fact that the likes of 154, I need more than one. Um, so I'd end up needing three or four. So I've shaved off at least half of the bag. It's probably still not as empty as 152. So let's empty it a bit more. The idea is if it, the bag's already full, then I'm likely to have it, it to be quite a popular number. 154 is quite popular. So if it's quite a popular number, then I would rather have space to put more diamonds in there when de-kitting and not have to touch this box than to keep fighting. 155, borderline, that's actually still okay. 156, 157, 158, I actually have these as well. So let's de-kit those. So at the minute, I'm really working on the bags that are fit to bursting. Do you know that I can still get a few more de-kitted in. If I find it's not working or they're getting too full too quick, then I may decide to de-kit some more. Okay, 159, I have a full tub and the bag is pretty full. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put these straight in to a new bag. Move them straight, let's not mess about trying to fill that bag too much. I obviously have quite a lot left over. What I should also do, because I'm not pulling the stickers off, I should just move forward the next tub that I need to do. So 160, again, I probably could fit them in there, but then I'd probably fill the bag too much. So let's just put 160 straight into a bag because it's a full, full pot. Let's just put them straight into my pass along box, pull out my next one so I know where I'm up to. And I think I'm just gonna plod through them all this way. 161, this is pretty full. I already have extras here and I have more here. So first thing I'm gonna do is cream this one off. Okay, that's still a very nice amount to have a spares, probably far more than I'm ever gonna need, unless I did another Heaven and Earth design project. That bag is very full, so we'll put the ones from my Heaven and Earth design in a new bag, catch those two. So we'll put those in a new bag. and move over because ideally what I think would be the best thing for me going forward is rather than bringing out this box every time I did kit in case I have extras is to just every now and then cream off my spares when I need to. So 164, I have hardly any but I have hardly any in here as well. So we will pop those in, pull out my next one, 165, not many, so let's add these. But yeah, in an ideal world, I don't want to be bringing this box, I just want to bring this one out, or these, my three that I have squares in. I just want to bring those out. Um, oh, stuck the sticker on the wrong side of this bag. The only diamonds I've obviously had for this one have been my heaven and earth design. So let's pop those in. I am going to go through my um, logbook in a minute. But 168. That's, that's probably okay at the minute. It's not a hugely popular colour. Um, say, if things start getting a bit crazy later, 
I will get rid of it then. 169, I don't have any in my spares. They were all in here. But that pot was pretty much full. And while that is very flat, it has filled up the bag considerably. Okay, so my 100s are done. Let's grab out my log book, the one that holds my spares. And let's do a quick update of the hundreds. So according to this, this is the way I think I'm going to do it because it's easier. 166 I had in my heaven and earth design so I can change that. Let me get my rubber or eraser, sorry, not to offend others. I can change that 166 and 169 to now being in my stash. According to this, the only 100 I don't have is 167. Is that true? 167, I don't have any. Okay, that's true. So my logbook is correct for the 100s. Um, I don't think there's any point in checking if I've ticked one and I shouldn't have done um, because while that could have happened, they're all marked in pen. So it's a bit too late now, isn't it? So let's save ourselves that problem. Uh, then we have 208. So if I then move my card with 200s. Uh, 208, fairly full, but it's not too bad. 209, same again. 210, no. 223 is one that I need to fill up or empty so they can fit in there I don't have any other 200s for my heaven and earth design and I don't have any other that are too full so to check my log book for the 200s I have at least one of every one of the 200s there's none of them that are empty and that with my six bottles there is now nice free moving and ready for me to plod on. So let's move on to the, th now this one I feel is full. This one feels very full to me. So 300, I don't know whether to move some of these over. Wondering whether to do just a little bit of a reshuffle. So that should be at the end. That's my end bar. That's my one telling me it's 300s. Okay, so number 300. I can fill that up. I actually only have these. These are all 400s. Some of them are out of my stash. Some of them I've been given but I only have that many 300s left and if any of you remember there's quite a few of these bad boys to be fair quite a few of those were used so that's 300 301 again that's another one that I can de-kit perfectly fine this might help me to make sure this box has got as much breathing room as possible as well. Uh, then we have 304. Let's see, this is quite a full bottle, but how much does it fill it up? Does it fill it up too much? No. When I let the air out, it's about half full, which is fine. 307. Now that one is fairly full and that is a full pot. So I think we can safely say that 307 needs to go into my giveaway tub. Check I'm on the 300s. So 307 in there and I am going to cream off a little bit. While I've got a bag I 
It's quite a popular one in the paint gem minis. If you can't tell by the amount of little dryer sheets that I end up with in there. So it's probably a good one. While I've got a bag for it, let's cream it off. If I didn't have a bag for it already, I probably would have left it. 310, if anyone remembers, when I finish my heaven and earth design, I shove those into my big pot. 309's fine. 310, I do have a token bag of 310 in here, just in case I need it. But if any of you have been here for a while, these are my excess 310s. Just a few. Uh, quite often I just grab that and throw all my 310s in there. 311 can all fit in. So let's throw those in with the rest. 311, 312, 315, 315 pretty full like not bursting um but i do have quite a bit so let's pop this one in another bag let's try and get the ones that are stuck in the bottom they've probably been sat there for four years we'll cream off a little bit of this one just because again, because we've got a bag, make sure that we have loads of room for adding more as and when I get them. And then pop those in there. So that was 315, 316, 317. I've only got what's in this tub. I think this of may have been in my other heaven and earth design as well, which I'm now redoing anyway. If I need to sort out that box, that's a later date. Okay, 317. I'm trying to think how many more I can get in here and still be nice. 318, I think I need to cream that one off a little bit. pretty full. So let's pop a 318. It's quite a popular colour as well with it being grey. So it'll do no harm to take a chunk out of there. So it's only about half full when I've got all the air out of it. But then I can squeeze it down quite a bit and that will give me a lot of room for de-kitting. So 318, 319, that's all good. 320, not many, and I can add these in. A couple of different colours mixed in there as well. I don't mind having a couple of colours. I can pick and choose which ones will suit better. 321, too full. Full for both. So three, two, one. Try and make sure my bags are facing the right way around. Pop all of those in. And I think I'll cream some off here. It's obviously fairly popular. So let's cream more off than what needed because there's a lot of diamond painting in my future. So 321, 322, 326, 326 I didn't have any. So we can de-kit these. Pop them in. It is kind of annoying not taking the labels off as I go, but as I say that first one seemed to be a bit of a pain. So I will have a full clear out of my cases when we're done. 
I think it's a lot fairer. So 327, 333, borderline again, 334, I can get all those in. I think when I get to the 3000s or the box with 3000s in, I think that one is going to be a very entertaining box to whirl down. 336, again, full and full. So let's move some of these over to my spares. I do already have someone in my inbox as well that I'll be going through my spares when they're all done um, and passing some on. I also want to check my other Heaven and Earth design as well. Um, the canvas, the two mini hearts, I think it's called, um, and see if there's any of those that I can use for it. But first up, I need to get this one de-kitted and everything out of the way. So 340, I've got room for those. I don't think that's, uh, that is borderline actually. That is a borderline whether it's too full. So let's err on the side of caution and move some over. It has still got quite a lot of room when it's open. Uh, but one diamond painting with a chunk of that. And it's probably going to have too many. And if somebody needs them for a painting, we may as well pass them on. I'm already filling this up. Let's move some more over. So 341's fine. 347. I think I can get away with adding these. So they all keep getting stuck in the bottom. Maybe they had a bit of static when they went in there four years ago and they've just decided to stay in there for the foreseeable. Uh, 3.49, add those in. Three fifty. I've only got a few left in here. So we'll pop those in. Somebody did suggest sort of choosing a weight uh, for an amount of diamonds that I was happy with keeping. Um, and then, you know, going by that weight as to what amount to sort of cream off the top, which was a very good idea. Um, I think if, maybe if I was just doing a sort out of the diamonds and sort of not de-kitting and checking my log book and all that sort of stuff at the same time, it might have been a bit easier for me. Um, but at the moment I find I can, I can multitask, but I find if I have quite a few steps to a project, um, and I'm talking and filming at the same time. If I have too many steps, it can, you know, confuse matters or muddy the waters a bit for me. Um, and I don't end up being productive with that time. So that's why I am doing, I'm not checking my logbook at exactly the same time as doing the de-kitting. So at the minute I'm de-kitting while checking, you know, the amounts of diamonds that I have in here and checking that they all work by just pulling back the cards and seeing how and whether I've got space for more. So here, 371, even though that's not a number I'm de-kitting, I can see that that bag is chunky full. So this one 
will need whittling down. So let's grab another wad of bags. And it's not that one, it's not 372, though some of the colours look similar. So I'm going for when there's not much air, when there's loads of air in it, about halfway, and then flatten it down. And that then gives me a decent amount in my spares in case I never have it in a diamond paint again. Um, but it also gives me quite a bit of scope to add more if I do have more in a painting. And then 372, I actually don't have any in my spares. So we'll add this one. And that is some of the easier numbers. So that's the 300s done. When we get to the 900s and I say the 38s, that's going to be really entertaining. So for 300s, 317, I've put in there. 326, I put in there. And 372, I did. According to my log book, there's no 300s that I don't have. So I don't need to check off any of those. Is this wiggle room good enough? So far it is. Let's see how we go. Oh, I do have a couple, a couple in that one that I can possibly take out if I need to move my 400s over. Okay, so for the number 400, I don't have loads in my spares, but I do have an extra three bags here. So I'm gonna pop the extra three bags straight into my giveaway lots. I'm gonna move these 800s over because I'm gonna feel like we're gonna need the wiggle room. But then I'm going to pop these last few in my normal spares. Probably a little bit shy of what I'd normally keep in here as spares. But I'm going on the basis of I'm going to get more. We shall see. 402. That's borderline too full. But it is pretty flat. So we'll keep that one for now. 413 is far too full. That is absolutely bursting. I do have a bag for excess 413. So let's definitely cream a load of this off. This is obviously one I get loads of. So let's get that down to being a more respectable flatter bag and put those in there. 414, I actually don't have any in here. So we will add the ones from this painting so that I have some. Look, still a pretty decent amount. That was a full pot or pretty much a full pot. So that is a more than reasonable amount to have in there. Let's just take this whole row out. I'm sick of backing and toing. Okay, four, four, one, five, borderline, 420 is okay. I go by if I can see the top of the bag, then I know it's okay. Uh, 433 three is one I need to put away. I feel like this row is pretty full, but I'm not sure if it's all this at the back. So let's use, choose my bookmark, but I may need to shuffle some more over. So 433, three, flatten it as much as I can. 434. Four. You see when I'm putting the bag in, it's not dropping to the bottom of the box easily. That is my guide that I'm using, that it's too full. And I really want my spares to be 
nice and free flowing once this project's finished. I want them to be extra free flowing, extra, extra. So I think I am going to have to move some over. But 435. Now, if you remember, this symbol is one that ended up with a load of dark ones mixed in. Um, and I actually made sure to avoid the dark ones. I actually have another batch of 435. I'm actually going to do something a little bit different for this one. I'm going to get rid of these. Rather than trying to fish out those darker ones, I'm just going to get rid of the lot because I have some. So if I run out, I've got some. Let's see if I can move those two bags over here and still let this free flow. Is that still free flowing? Uh, it's not bad. Not as much, but it's not bad. Let's try that. Okay, 436, definitely full and I've got extras. So let's make another bag of those. Four. And my pen's playing up again. Four, three, six. There we go. Just needs a little squiggle. Maybe it's cold. Who knows? I'm feeling quite warm, but I've been back into like a a yo-yo today and I've been under the lights and all the rest of it. So I'm warm. I don't think the air around me is, but I'm warm. Okay, four, three, six. And then some extras. That still goes there. Let's pull out the next row. So well, let's pull out the 400s. 437, you're okay. You're okay. 445. This is a colour that I'll be adding to. So even though I've been taking a load of diamonds out, I'm still adding a fair chunk of diamonds in, in bags that haven't had anything. So I do want to make sure that my squares can keep working for me. Okay, 451. Reasonable bag, but a full pot of extras. So they're going in the extras get my bag the right way around get those all in and while i'm here i'll cream some off i don't feel like i need to but i'm going to because i am all for giving my spares breathing room as much as possible and it's still a reasonable bag of extras. Okay, 452. Again, that's another borderline, but I don't have any more to add to it. So I reckon I'll still get away with adding more in there. 453 is pretty full. I also actually have more in here as well. So I'm going to cream off this one and just make this bag a bit more bursting. I don't mind the bags in here being sort of full to bursting because whenever anybody needs diamonds and they give me sort of an amount, I cream them into a fresh bag anyway. So they can be stuffed. These can't be. 469, so we can add in these, flatten them down, loads of room, 470 is okay, 471, add those in. Make the bag as flat as I can. 472. Again, not many in there. Getting near the end of this row now. In fact, I think there is only one more number in the 400s. We 
which is this 498 which is definitely rather full and I have a full pot so this one can definitely have another bag in fact I do have another bag <laughs> so I've just written that and I don't particularly need to but we can pop those in prop the bag up cream off the top of this make sure they fit in so I actually don't need that sticker I didn't pay attention before I did it okay 498 okay we have wiggle room in both of those probably have a little bit more actually in this side now than we do on this side I think I sort of move them over part way so maybe push another one in there still got wiggle room okay we're good I think we're still going to have a bit of wiggle room in here because we already do hopefully we will by the time we've added more as well well, let's take out the 500 so two rows have been done which is what I wanted to get done bare minimum for this video um, I am going to continue and get the five and six hundred done because then I can say one box is done um, but if I end up slowing down near the end because of the bigger amount of numbers it's okay I have the time to if I need to um, I just may have to do the rounds at another day but it, to be honest I think the rounds will be quite quick um, to just do the two boxes and just cream off what I need to but let's check the 400s so we've got 414 that we've added in which we've added and then the only one my logbook says I don't have is number 444 do I have any 444? No, I don't. So that's the only number I don't have, which means my logbook's right. It's definitely different for rounds. I have more gaps of rounds, but for squares, I don't have many. Okay, so 500s. 500, that one's okay. 501, I didn't have any in here because they're all in here. So 501, I actually don't have the letter H next to it in my book and I don't have a tick. So I've just spotted that out the corner of my eye. So let's add that one in while we're there. Okay, 502, 03 looks okay. 04 is empty, which this also says. What do I want now? 517. 517 I have a full pot of these so let's see how much it fills it up mm, trying to work out if that's a bit too much it didn't have much in there first up but I have literally just filled it though if I hold it like that it is half a bag so maybe we keep that as half a bag. Um, do I have any 500s in here? No, so I don't have any 500s put aside yet. 518's okay. 519, I've only got a few to add. So we can throw those in, flatten it out. 519, 520 only got a few I feel like I need to use this let's add those in yeah still got plenty of room I say I'm just trying and make sure that I flatten them down as much as I possibly can just because then it takes an even weight in the box 
So 522 I'm fine. 524, that's my next number to de-kit. And I have about half a tub left of these. Nearly one box down. One box down. Sorry, one case down. Nearly one case down for the heaven and earth design. <laughs> Not quite one box down. Okay, 550 is my next one. So I'm looking for anything that's too full. Okay, 550 is fairly full. Like it is flat. So it's probably about half a bag when it's opened. But it is too full to fit pretty much a full tub back in. So I'm just going to put 550 straight into a bag to go into my extras extras. Get them moved straight over. So I've already got one person that I'm going to be going through these for when I'm finished. Um, so I'm sure I will be able to get this box down again as well because I've got visions of us filling it up fairly well. 552, fill that bag up. 553, see this is the thing I am filling up some bags now which is making me wonder if, I'm go if I've got any 600s that are fit to bursting up here that I can sort of take some out to compensate for all these ones I'm putting back in. So I feel like I'm putting quite a few 500s in. Okay, 554. I don't have any more, but that's a, that's a chunky bag. 561, I don't have any, but I do have a full pot here. This is definitely gonna fill that little lot up. Five, six, two, same again. Don't have any, not a full pot though, just a little bit. So let's get those in. And then five, six, three is fine. I want five, nine, seven, and I say I'm just moving the things, and if I can see the top of the bags, then they're not too full. If the top of the bags, sorry, if I can see that they're clear, then they're definitely not too full. So therefore, I just move on to the next one. And then last but not least, five, nine, eight. So for the 500s, I have actually filled up my box more than I've emptied it. We shall see what the 600s bring because if I keep doing this, I'm going to end up with not enough space. I've already taken two bottles out of the end of there. That's quite nice. This one, I need some 600s to go. Uh, okay, 500 check. So I've got two that I've put in as fresh so according to this 563 is the only number I don't have is that correct it is correct so that is an empty bag the rest I have some okay this case finished I will empty I will take the stickers off when I finish this video, but I am one case down. Second case, I'm going to take these 600s. These are the only ones I need. I don't have any 600s in my extra bags in the back. So let's see where these are at. Okay, so that is far too full. I've not even got that in my heaven and earth design. But that is far too full. Do I have any 600s already? I do. 
but not 600 in itself so 600 that will create me a bit of room clean this one off Mm. That was a pretty full bag. <laughs> that was pretty full. I've still left, a, I've probably taken out more than I've put in. But it still left me with two pretty full bags at the end of that. So 600. I do still like to put these in the correct order. So 600, 601. It's okay. So two's okay. Six oh three. That one's too full as well. Do I have a six oh three? No. So six oh three. Let's cream some of these off. It's a very pretty pink though. Very pretty pink. Now say I'm not keeping the bags of these as what I would call a full amount for my spares. I am taking in effect quite a bit out because if they've got full, especially when I'm not putting them in from my heaven and earth design, then more than likely, uh, well, in fact, the only way or the way I collect them. So they're not ones I've been gifted from a heaven and earth design in any way. They are fully ones that I have as extras and I've got as extras from kits. So if I already have one that is that full, that it is bursting, um, then... I am more than likely to still have diamond paintings that will collect them. Not guaranteed, but more than likely. Um, and I'm not likely to go through all of the, you know, in effect, full half packet that I've kept hold of. So I'm creaming off 606. Because that one was also very full. This is definitely giving me a bit more wiggle room here. So I'm looking through, I can see the tops of bags. Why do I have 612 and I have rounds in there? What on earth have I done there? So I don't have two of the bags, I just have 612 in rounds. If I had both boxes out at one point and mucked that up, and they've got round diamonds in them. So I'm going to put that to the side and I'll, I'll have a look at that when I'm done. 632 is all right, 640, 642, 644. Okay, 645 is my next one and it's my next one to de-kit. I'm actually thinking I don't want to add half a tub to that bag. So let's just put these straight in a new bag. And put these ones straight away to pass on. At the moment, I'm not putting these tubs, these bottles, if you can see, I've not been putting these back in the case. Uh, the reason being is for the other case, the whole case needed the labels taken off. For this one, I only need to take the labels off for um, a small amount of the bottles. So I'm gonna keep them out. And once this video's done, I will take the labels off those so that next week we know where we're starting from um, and where we need to de-kit from and to. Okay, six four five's done. Six four six. See, there's not as many in there. Can you see? So adding half a tub to this is not going to have as much an effect as adding half a bag to the other one. I'm really wondering what on earth I've done with six one two. I really am. I'll figure that out in a minute. Okay, six four seven 
is too full. Do I have a 647 already? I have a 647. I do have a 647. Good me for checking. I could nearly wrote a sticker then. Nearly wrote a sticker a bit too early. Okay, let's cream off a good chunk of those. Ready for any de-kitting in my future. Put those in there. Six, four, eight, six, six, six. This one is full and I do have extras here. I actually don't, I don't know if, I'd switch the bags over, but the labels are different. Let's see how full I can get this bag and if I think this bag is empty enough after I've done it. Uh, preferably without throwing a load on the floor. I know I have loads but I still feel like I need to pick them up. Okay that bag is now full full. That bag there is some static but it's actually about half full so that does work. So we'll put them in there. Six, seven, six. It's okay. Six, seven, seven. And get away with putting the rest of those in there. Get the ones that are stuck in the bottom of the pot. I'm trying to make sure that I clear out the bits in the pots as I go along. Um, because these cases. I'm not sure yet whether I'm keeping them or whether I'm going to do um, a giveaway with them or pop them in the Christmas giveaways because I don't really need that many 60 bottle cases. I now have my big one that would take a load for one painting so I don't really need four pots um, but I'm not sure whether to keep some of them yet. Okay, 699 I have taken out because I do have a fair chunk, so I've put the rest in. That gives this nice free flowing and this one and this one. So that box, I am now rather happy with the movement in it for de-kitting. Um, it's not quite got to the point where I need to sort of squoosh things in. That will happen over time, but it's not doing it now. So my 100s to 600s, oh, hang on, let me check my numbers. I've very nearly done, but not quite. Okay, 610, it says I don't have, which is correct. 676, it says I don't have, which is correct. And that's it. So they're the only two I don't have. Okay, now my 100s to 600 spare box has had a spring clean. Um, I do need to check 612. Um, because this has round diamonds and the round sticker, my guess is the other one is in the rounds box, which is absolutely stupid. But anyway, I will get that bag and move it over into this one. For these pots, I actually kind of like the fact I've not got the pots sort of stuck in the back of this anymore. I think that looks so much prettier. What I will do is I will actually change this that's stuck in the back of my extras to being pots. I do have um, sort of a tub of pots in my diamond painting sort of extras. I can't even remember where I got all of them from. I think they came in a storage case that I ended up using for something else. Um, and maybe when I have a sort out of sort of my diamond painting stuff and stash, um, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with them. But for now, they can sit in there and then they can still sit in there on top until I sort out my rounds and need the space. But we filled one full row. Um, 
I guess is when we do the 700 and stuff we're probably going to fill another row so maybe I'll find somewhere to put these while we're de while we're de-kitting before I start giving away that's next week's problem but we have done a case and a bit of my heaven and earth design um the rest of this case will get done next week because this goes into the 900s and then we'll go into the next one so we'll do the next squares box and see as uh, say how far we can get um but yeah i'm happy with how that box has turned out i'm happy that that is now free flowing even looking at it bird's eye view there's no bags that look too thick for me. There is some that have a bigger gap, but that's not because it's too thick. It's just the way the bags are sitting. All the bags are sitting lower than the piece of cardstock, so it's not got the clear bags sticking up because it's that full. They're all sitting lower. They can all shuffle, which means they can all settle on the bottom of the box. And I've still got room for all my little dividers. I can still even take these out if I really need space. These at the front and the back um, can give each row a little bit more wiggle room. But it's a nice starting point from our ones to 600s. Hopefully the next couple of weeks will go just as well. But thank you so much for joining me for this first one. And yeah maybe you can get your spares all spring cleaned or maybe just de-kit at the same time but thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon